Good morning everyone, my name is Natalie A and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is my Weetabix, I've let it soak a bit too much now, but this is a healthy extra B, two Weetabix and 200 ml of soy milk. I can have 350 of the Aldi soy milk, so I've got 150 left to use on um, tea today. Oh man, it is so freezing. I'm trying to put off putting the heating on, but I'm just frozen. <laughs> just made myself a cup of tea, measuring out 50 ml of lacto-free milk. So I've bit, gone back to use my jug at the moment because I accidentally shrunk my um, little milk bottle I got off of Etsy by putting it in the dishwasher. My mistake. Yeah, so back to the jug it is at the moment. Although I did buy a little shot, little like shot measurement glass to use as well. So perhaps I'll have to find that out as an alternative as well. Yeah, I think this is going to be a bit of a dark tea. <laughs> yeah, um, trying to warm myself up. I just can't get warm. Um, just working away <laughs> on my um membership write write up stuff. Um, yeah. Hopefully, if I can get it done over the next few weeks, I might actually have another week of that being able to just read chip flick books and chill out before actually starting my new module of uni work. Um, yeah, I'm just doing distance learning, so don't have, don't have to actually attend any classes. But last time we did have some online calls with our lecturer, and that was really interesting, actually. Um, yeah, it's all around health and safety, which is the area that I work in. Um, I know it'd be very boring to a lot of people, but I find it really interesting. And um, something that I'm really passionate about is um, looking at ways we can improve processes to keep people safe in their work. Um, so yeah, so that's um, what it's about. Um, what was going to say? Oh yeah. Um, at group on Saturday, it was such a shame our consultant didn't have many hi-fi bars because apparently it's worked out on their sales um, from the last month. So that was a shame because I'm really looking forward to stocking up on hi-fi bars. I tried the Skinny Whip bars recently. I bought one pack from Home Bargains, but I don't know, I'm not all that fast. Do you like them if you're following Slim World? I know a lot of Slim Worlders love them and swear by them. Um, and you can use them instead of hi-fi bars but yeah I don't think I'm a real big fan of nugget but I'll use them up the ones I've got anyway but yeah and apparently lemon drizzle flavour is coming out as a hi-fi bar so hmm, I might try that we'll see I tend to like the hi-fi bars which actually got chocolate on them because I'm rather a chocolate lover so yeah I prefer those kind of ones love the fruit and nut ones they're my faves and what other ones? Oh, the Rocky Road ones. I think they are my second favourite as well. So yeah, I've been um, buying a few Christmas bits actually already, stashing them away. I Well, I can talk about some of the bits because actually most of my family don't watch my channel. Um, my brother and his wife watch my channel. So hello, Katie and Jack, if you're watching this video. Um, but yeah, my husband's family don't watch these videos, so I can talk about some of the presents. This year, I'm going to be on a very tight budget for Christmas, I think, the way things are looking at the moment. So I'm looking for things that like look a bit more than what they actually cost kind of thing. So I'm in the iron about what to get my sister-in-laws. I'm swaying between um, getting a like, body shop cleansing butters the chamomile one which is so lovely on your face it's like a facial in a tin um with some nice quality flannels i was going to put that as a little light present for christmas for them we don't really spend a lot on each other but it's just something or i've seen some nice um toiletry sets in an avon brochure that a lady in my street um bought round and I've never actually bought Avon stuff before but um I've been really surprised that um in the brochure you can like rub and smell the perfumes and um yeah I really like the smell of this manly one so I bought um uh our I think it's brother-in-law technically um one of those 
Mandy perfumes. It smells really nice. I know you won't be bothered about the brand, so that's why I'm not fussed about that. And one of my other friends um, from church, I've got her a perfume as well, which smelled really nice in the magazine, so I ordered that. And it came really quickly, um, because now with the Avon consultants, you can get a brochure through the door, but she said if you text her you can get the online link and then they'll deliver the stuff direct to you i just thought that's a lot easier and they have other stuff on the website and they still get the commission so i did it that way so i've got two perfumes i've put away for christmas so far and also they had this um cocoa butter reduced for a pound which you can use on your face hands body and that is so nice and um, because i keep getting really dry hands at the minute so i'm really trying to remember to moisturise them so I'll put one pot downstairs one pot upstairs to um yeah remember that and it feels really lovely and um yeah so we're enjoying that at the moment so yeah I'm still deciding between those two like toiletry kind of gifts for Christmas I think this year I'm going to steer away from buying people clothes because you just don't know what size people are now do you and um I got a lovely towel for my sister-in-law um in house of fraser they were doing a sale and this beautiful bright pink towel with like a leopard print on it which i know is her kind of style so um i've got that for her i'll put that away for her birthday there's lovely quality and it was reduced so that was one of the bargains i picked up at the minute um yeah so uh, i wonder if you're thinking about christmas yet or not i just love planning in advance <laughs> I'm that kind of person, so yeah, and I love just sitting down and thinking up ideas, so yeah, that's what I'm thinking at the moment, and also I've got an idea for our, one of um, our close friends, their children, I thought this year, I'm, I've seen in Hobbycraft, they do um, these like cardboard box little playhouses that you can colour in the outside, and I thought, oh that'll be good, because it can be like a shared present between them. And I think they really enjoy that and get excited about it because they're just kind of just into primary school age. So I thought that would be nice. So I plan to get that. But I think I'll have to get nearer the time because of storing it so that my son doesn't end up drawing on it as well or something. So yeah, so those are some of my Christmas present ideas so far. Yeah, but I'm thinking that I want to try my best this year to... um shop my friends um businesses where i can for christmas presents um and just support mums basically other mums and other ladies that are just um basically starting out in their businesses um yeah so that's my thoughts this christmas um around christmas presents as i know how hard it is for um women that are trying to make money trying to get um to get the money for their families especially around christmas time so yeah i thought if it fits in with what the person i'm buying for might like then i'll try my best to shop with other ladies and their businesses to support them um yeah and i have been going to the town and that and going out shopping a bit but not hugely I still find it difficult to keep my mask on for a long time. Obviously, I do it, but um, yeah, it does put me off going like shopping just for fun, really. But yeah. So I found another portion of lentil spag bowl. Where I thought my husband had ate it all, but he hadn't. So I'm going to have that for lunch, and I'm just boiling some whole wheat spaghetti to go with that about 80 grams I measured out and I'll have some salad on the side and I might sprinkle on some cheese as well this was so delicious I would highly recommend it and I'm gonna start um, getting ready um, a kind of stew well I'm gonna make a stew basically for dinner tonight because I thought I might as well make it now before well while my son's a nursery so yeah Right, so this is what I'm going to be using to make, basically, I'm going to be making my own sim-free version of this spiced lentil tomato soup. I'm going to make it more like a stew. So basically, it'll be a 
tin of chopped tomatoes with 250 grams of lentils. I find they really puff up a lot, so 250 is enough. I'm going to be putting in this butter, butternut squash and sweet potato mix. Um, I'm thinking of putting in the whole bag. Yeah, I'm just going to go for it. And then I'm going to, I always freeze my peppers, that's why they look like this, but yeah, I'm going to run them under the hot tap, chop them up, put in these peppers. So I've got these two small sweet peppers, one big sweet pepper and another normal pepper. I'm going to put in some paprika, tomato puree, stock cube, um, and then I'm looking at what seasoning is in this. And there's carne, carne peppers, that I say. So I'm going to put in some of this. Some white pepper for a change and um, black pepper yeah I said paprika didn't I and then see what that looks like I might put some all-purpose seasoning as well my husband likes that flavor Um, not really I'm not gonna put in cumin and turmeric and stuff I don't really want it to be too much curry taste um, and then red onions this is about it so I'm gonna chop up the red pepper and onions now fry that and get this sweet potato and butternut squash in the microwave to the frost and then bung that all in with the lentils and chopped tomatoes and I'll put in a load of water with the stock cube for like stock and let it all simmer away basically that's the plan right so I've chopped up all those peppers it's actually ended up quite a lot um, so yeah that's good anyway and the onion actually looks quite a lot as well and I'm sure I'm using all of the butternut squash um, so, and the sweet potato bag so we'll see how it goes this could end up being a lot um, I'm just thinking I've only got one tin of chopped tomatoes left so it's going to be a bit of a ready steady cook with me today I've already decided to change my mind about the seasoning so instead of going for like a paprika Carne pepper kind of flavour. Change my mind, I'm making it into a curry. So I'm going to use garam masala and then I'm also going to put in some turmeric, cumin, still some white pepper for a change, and some rosy garlic. I'm going to put in there and see what that turns out like because I remembered we'll be having this with rice, so I thought might as well have more of a curry flavour. So I'll still put in stock and some black pepper as well. I might use tomato puree not sure yet um, I want to make sure the sauce is quite thick but I think also the butternut squash and everything will melt down to a bit slushy to help with the sauce I'm hoping and I can always keep adding more water so yeah we'll see how this goes I'm just going to soften up the onions and red pepper so I've sprayed on some fry light but I've also poured in quite a bit of water um, I'm using the Aldi fry light as a rule I don't always talk about it on my channel but I don't use any form of oil other than like a fry light um, often that these days I forget even to use fry light and just um, use water to like melt things down and I find that um, that helps weight loss a huge amount I think for a lot of people if they just stop using oil, even just made that one change, they'd even lose a lot of weight and stop eating just oily foods. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's what I find. Yeah, my spaghetti's done now, so I'm gonna actually sit down and eat my lunch. So seasoning wise, so far I've added in um, half a teaspoon of lazy garlic. I've added in one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of cumin, um, not a heap spoonful, just like a level spoon, and um, about one teaspoon of garam masala. So I'll put that in with these peppers and onions just to, so that the heat will help release the flavour a bit. Um, yeah, so just letting this boil down now. So I've just added in the butternut squash and sweet potato mix that I might play for about eight minutes. And there's still water in this pan, I'm just gonna stir it through. And then I'm gonna pour in my lentils and chopped tomatoes. And um, yeah, that's my next step. So this is what it looks like now. 
I'm just considering whether to add more water. I'm just going to put in the stock cube. I think I will put in probably two cans fulls of water now. So I've added in um, two cans of water. By cans I mean I've refilled this tin chopped tomatoes. And I've just put in about a tablespoon of tomato puree. So I'm just going to reduce this down to a low simmer now and leave this for a while to thicken up and for the lentils to swell up. Yeah. So I just checked on it and it was starting to stick at the bottom of it, but the butternut squash and sweet potato haven't really mushed up. So I've just put in one and a half cans more of water. Um, I just want everything to break down a bit more, so I'm going to leave it on again now. See what happens. So I'm turning off this curry now. It's still got quite a bit of water, but I'll heat this up later, I think. Um, let the flavours infuse. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have put in quite so much water near the end, but it'll be fine. And I'm hoping even leaving the lid off will make it to um, thicken up a bit as well. So yeah, looking forward to having this later with some nice rice. And I've... Um, been looking in the freezer at what we've got vegetable wise and I'll probably have it with some nice sliced green beans so yeah it's a bit of a day of lots of lentils <laughs> but I am loving the lentils at the moment so this is what it looks like just leaving the lid off for a little while so it's already thickened up so uh, yeah that's a good tip if uh, something's looking a bit watery and you don't want to overcook it so this is my finished dish <laughs> Excuse the roughly chopped cheese, I couldn't be bothered to grate it. This is 40 grams of lighter cheese, as a second healthy extra A. Um, yeah, in the lentil spag bowl is courgette, um, mushrooms, and red onions, so those are also speed with the salad. It's like one o'clock now, I can't believe where the time's gone, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to get back serious into my um write up stuff because the day's running away and I've just finished cooking. I did cook my husband some baguettes um, and he's having vegetarian burgers and those um, so yeah that was what else I was doing but uh, now I need to get back serious. Yeah I'm so stuffed full from that um, lentil bolognese that was absolutely amazing so tasty. It was a bit bigger portion than I expected but at least it'll keep me full. I'm really trying to fill up on free food at the moment. I'm keeping this book handy which is the book that I got from going back to group called Back Together. This is your time. I found it really helpful to do some reflections in this and um, like you put today's weight and where you'd like to be in two weeks time, where you'd like to be in four weeks time, things you're excited about and things you want to commit to or promise yourself so for me I've put my top promises to myself for staying on plan is to continue to go outside every day to fill up on free food and to write down my food and um, because I find that when I don't track what I'm eating that's it the mindfulness goes out the window and I don't end up being on plan and the last few weeks I haven't been tracking the odd day I've started tracking and then stopped tracking. So yeah, I'm using, I've gone to week two in this. I don't know if you can see actually by mistake, I should have filled out week one, but where there's like basically where you can meal plan, I'm using that as um, basically my tracker of what I'm eating for the day. So instead of planning out the week, I'm just writing there what I've had, my breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then my sins. Um, so yeah, yesterday I ended up on I ended on sixteen and a half sins, and on Monday I had fifteen. And a half, uh, I can't even speak. <laughs> a Saturday, sorry, I had fifteen and a half sins after group, and Sunday I had sixteen and a half sins. So yeah, hopefully today I can stay within my sins as well. Still only had three and a half sins so far for the day, which was my coffee in the morning so yeah I'm gonna get cracking with my uni stuff now and um hopefully reserve an hour or two for some chill out time before my son 
um, comes back from nursery. So uh, yeah, hope you're having a lovely day whenever you watch this video. As an afternoon snack, pre-nursery pickup, I'm having one slice of wholemeal bread, which is the normal large loaf size, as the second healthy extra be of the day. And I'm, I've got uh, one teaspoon of this Tesco Niodic Sugar Jam, which is half a zinc. I find this is a good snack and stops me starting on a run of eating chocolate. Just having this skinny whip bar, I think it's three sins, but I will check on the app and put it on my food log at the end of the day. So I just checked the skinny whip double chocolate bar on the app and it's actually four and a half sins. So, so far I'm on eight and a half sins, just jotting it down my little planner. So this is my finished dinner for tonight. My uh, lentil butternut squash and sweet potato curry with basmati rice and um, boiled one and some green beans for extra speed. So I'm ending the day on 14 and a half sins after having this wacko bar and a kvaz yogurt. No hot chocolate tonight but I'm going to have a tea with my remaining 50ml of um, soy milk. <laughs>